Hi, this is Ramesh from Informatica Support. Today I'm going to show you how to configure SSL for ActiveMQ through JMS. This presentation is to help you guide through the necessary steps to configure the required parameter in order to establish SSL connectivity to ActiveMQ through PowerExchange for JMS. I'll be showing you a quick demo during the course of this presentation where I'll be connecting I'll be connecting to an SSL enabled ActiveMQ and read the data and write into a flat file. The prerequisite for this demo are the ActiveMQ server should be enabled for SSL broker certificate and the client certificate. So we would be generating the certificate on broker and the client machine and this certificate needs to be exchanged between broker and client so that both can authenticate each other. The broker here is the ActiveMQ server and the client is the power center server. The power center server should have network access to ActiveMQ. After we validate this prerequisite, we would be uh, setting these three custom JVM options in the integration service. Uh, these are the trust store, key store, and the key store password so that PMDTM uh, can use this parameter and at the runtime and establish uh, uh, the secure communication to ActiveMQ. So let me show you a quick demo here. So this is a mapping. Uh, the source is a JMS source, the target is a flat file. I'm trying to populate a field called body text field from JMS source into a message output column in the flat file target. Here is the workflow that corresponds to that mapping. So let's take a look at to the connections used in this workflow. Since the source is a JMS type, I have two type of application connection used here. One is the JNDI connection and the other is the JMS connection. Okay, so here is the JNDI connection attributes. So if you see here, the attributes I mentioned here are JNDI context factory, JNDI provider URL. The value for this attribute, you should ask from your active MQ administrator and you should uh, he should be able to share with you. So uh, for me here the context factory I put in is arg.apache.activemq.jndi.activemq initial context factory which is the default context factory for activemq and the URL here is ssl colon forward slash forward slash host name colon port number so if you notice here the U my URL starts with the ssl protocol so which validates that my ActiveMQ server is enabled for SSL. Okay. Okay, so here's the JMS connection. Um, destination type is a queue because I'm trying to read from a queue. This is the connection factory. Destination is a queue one. Uh, username, password, rest all is the default, right? Here, I, this is since it's a real-time session, my uh, idle time is minus one and, and message count is minus one so that the session will run for uh, in a real-time uh, real, real time way. All right. So this was a quick overview of the mapping that we'd be using to, for the demo. Let's talk about uh, the certificates that I was discussing in the beginning of my presentation. So essentially, uh, we have to uh, create a key store file on the broker and the client machine. So here, the highlighted line, if you see this command when you run on your broker server, will create a key store file with the name broker.ksh. And similarly, sorry, and similarly, if you run this highlighted command on your client machine, which is the power center, it will create a key store file called client.case. Okay. One thing to note here is if you see here, I'm using the key tool uh, utility, which is available under Java bin Informatica home directory. Uh, this is because uh, the key tool version and the key tool on my broker machine are the same. Um, if you don't match the version for the key tool, 
uh, you could land into some issues okay all right so once you generate the key store on broker and the client machine after that you have to uh, export using this previously created key store file and create a certificate called broker.crt on broker machine and similarly a client underscore CRT on client machine okay once we create this broker and the client certificate we need to copy brokers underscore CRT to the client machine which is the power center machine and similarly copy client underscore CRT to the broker which is active MQ server okay after that we need to uh, import these certificates which we exchange between the broker and client and using that certificates we will be creating something called trust store file so if you run this highlighted command on a client machine it will create a file called client.ts on a client server which is the power center similarly using the client underscore crt file we create a broker.ts file on a broker machine which is the active mq server right uh, I already have created and exchanged this key to save time here to, so let me show you so this is the location where I have ActiveMQ installed so see uh, this is the key I was talking about broker.ks and broker.ts ts is the trust store file and dot ks is the key store file similarly I have this uh, key generated and copied on Informatica server so this is my Informatica server okay so in for home I created a directory called key and under that I put I generated the client.ksh and client.ts file okay so uh, let me start the MQ, active mq inst instance here because this is down at this point so let me uh, boot it up CD Apache. So here I'm restarting the active MQ instance here. So it's coming up. Okay. So if you see this message while starting the uh, active MQ you can see that it's saying that connector SSL started which is which means the active MQ has started in a SSL mode okay let me validate if the server is already up yeah it has come up okay so let's go ahead and start uh, run this workflow did you start it? no let me restart it okay so the session is started now let's see let me try publishing some message here from JMS provider so let me publish some message here Q1 let's say test JMS through SSL ok 
okay so we see that the session has failed here let's let's take a look it failed with what error okay so it's complaining that unable to find valid certificate path to the requested target which means it's saying that the client which is the power center uh, could not find the uh, the required certificates uh, and that's the reason it couldn't establish the connection to ActiveMQ so let's go ahead and set the JVM option I was talking about in the beginning of my presentation at the integration service level as a custom property so let's go ahead and add those property here so you add it as a JVM options uh, I have already copied here so let me quickly set it here so JVM option 1 which is the key store location okay then you have to mention the key store password and you have to mention the trust store file location okay so after we set this uh, JVM options, uh, since these are the custom flag, flag, we don't have to restart the integration service. We can just directly go ahead and rerun the map. So let me restart it. It's running. So now we can see that this is running and it has in fact read some uh, one message from the queue. Let me publish some more messages here. Test messages for SSL connectivity through JMS. Okay, let's send this. Let's see. So we see that the now it's reading. So now this applied row is two and affected row is two. So so this was then a quick overview on how to uh, set up SSL connectivity through JMS. So um, that's pretty much that, that's pretty much I have for this demo. Uh, if you have any feedback, I would like to we'd love to hear from you. So you can uh, give your feedback at support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com info support. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Bye-bye.